Respect is recognizing and valuing the worth, rights, and feelings of others. However, not everyone is naturally respectful. Some are shaped by their environment and upbringing. Right now, we will explore the five levels of respect and how they manifest in our interactions and relationships. Remember, the level of respect you receive is proportional to the quality of your competence, character, and behavior over time. The lowest level of respect is based on nurture. This type of respect comes not from who you are, but from how others have been raised to treat people. Such individuals show respect due to the care, support, and guidance they received, often reflecting significant emotional support and mentoring. Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. Proverbs 22, 6. Consider the story of a young man named Samuel, who always held the door open for others, regardless of their status. He did this because his grandmother had taught him the importance of kindness and respect from a young age. This behavior was deeply ingrained in him through years of nurturing. Respect for ourselves guides our morals. Respect for others guides our manners. Lawrence Stern, respect based on nurture is incidental. It reflects the upbringing and teachings received from caregivers. While it is the lowest level, it sets a foundation for more profound types of respect. The second level of respect is based on title. It is derived from holding a specific role status or age in society or an organization people respect you because of your position acknowledging the authority or power associated with it let every person be subject to the governing authorities for there is no authority except from god and those that exist have been instituted by god romans 13 to 1. a ceo named linda was always shown great deference by her employees. This respect was tied to her position within the company. Even when new employees didn't know her personally, they treated her with respect due to her title, Respect the Burden, Napoleon Bonaparte. Respect based on title is occasional. It's linked to the position rather than the individual and while it acknowledges authority, it may not reflect personal admiration. Level 3. Respect based on competence. Competence-based respect is earned through the demonstration of skills, knowledge, and abilities in a particular field. It reflects recognition of someone's expertise and proficiency. Do you see a man skilled in his work? He will stand before kings. He will not stand before obscure men. Proverbs 22, 29. Dr. Emily was a renowned surgeon known for her expertise in delicate procedures. Her colleagues and patients respected her immensely, not because of her title, but because of her exceptional skills and success rates. Respect your efforts. Respect yourself. Self-respect leads to self-discipline. When you have both firmly under your belt, that's real power. Clint Eastwood. Respect based on competence is conditional. It relies on continuous demonstration of ability and expertise. And while it is a significant level of respect, it must be maintained through consistent performance. Level 4. Respect based on character. Character-based respect is derived from personal qualities such as integrity, honesty, kindness, and empathy. It reflects admiration for someone's moral and ethical standards. A good name is more desirable than great riches. 
to be esteemed is better than silver or gold. Proverbs 22, 1. John was known in his community for his unwavering honesty and kindness. Even in challenging situations, he stood by his principles. This integrity earned him deep respect from everyone who knew him. Character is how you treat those who can do nothing for you. Malcolm S. Forbes. Respect based on character is intentional. It is not easily swayed by circumstances and reflects a deeper, more personal admiration for an individual's ethical conduct. Level five, respect based on legacy. The highest level of respect is based on legacy. It is earned through consistent behavior, achievements, and accomplishments, reflecting how one's past actions have established a trustworthy and admirable image. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall receive mercy. Matthew 5, 7. Mahatma Gandhi's legacy of nonviolent resistance has earned him global respect that transcends generations. His consistent behavior and remarkable achievements in fighting for justice and equality continue to inspire and command respect. No legacy is so rich as honesty. William Shakespeare. Respect based on legacy is generational. It is the culmination of a lifetime of consistent, admirable actions and behaviors that build a lasting reputation worthy of profound respect. My friend, learn to respect all the people around you. Remember, everything you do unto others will definitely return back to you. By understanding and embodying these five levels of respect, you can build a life that commands admiration and leaves a lasting